On this video, pag-uusapan natin ang Fibonacci retracement na isang technical indicator. I'll show you kung paano gamitin ang Fibo para ma-identify ang buy or sell levels natin. But for that, quick intro muna tayo. Let's have a quick recap ng technical analysis. Diba? On technical analysis, we know that the market does not move in a straight line. But instead, dito, it is a wave, hindi siya straight line. No? And as analyst, ang kailangan nating ma-identify dito is kung nasaan ang support and resistance. So, we have a lot of tools na pwede nating magamit dito. We can use moving averages, we can use MACD, RSI, at kung ano-ano pa. But on this particular one, let's use Fibonacci retracement. So, what is a Fibonacci retracement? Okay. So, Fibo is a leading indicator, which means it can give you an idea of the potential support and resistance before it actually gets there. So, parang it's looking into the future. Diba? Also, yung mga support and resistance na yon, those are our reversals. Okay? So, what else? Dito sa FIBO retracement, usually, sinasabi nila na it often occurs at three different levels. Ano-ano yung mga levels na yon? We have the 31.8, 61.8, ito siya. And of course, we have added 161.8 para doon sa leading indicator. Mamaya, I'll show you kung ano, kung ano ang ibig sabihin itong part na to. So, para ma-identify natin ito, I have created three different scenarios. No? Kung paano natin ma-apply ang Fibonacci and kung paano natin siya magagamit to identify yung mga target and pullback levels. Okay, so the first one is we try to identify yung target price from an uptrend stock. The second is a pullback coming from uptrend. And last but not the least is target price on a downtrend na stock. Here's a quick terminology muna para hindi tayo maligaw, no? especially sa mga bago. So you can pause this one here para mabasa ninyo. will try to identify yung target price from a uptrend na stock. No? Specifically, from a breakout na stock. As we have recalled kanina, no, na-mention natin na uh, FIBO is a leading indicator, which means it can give us a good assumption of a potential target price in the future kahit hindi pa siya nangyayari. Okay. And that's what we are going to prove at least no, today on this particular segment. So let me try and look up once again my FIBO tool. Ayan. And for this to actually work, lagay ko muna siya ha. Ayan. This is the settings of my FIBO. Okay. So we have the zero, the start. Yung dalawang, key resist, uh, yung dalawang key retracement levels natin, 38.2 at saka 61.8. Yung 1, which is the end of the FIBO. And ito rin yung inad natin kanina na 1.618. Siya yung magiging guide natin to identify kung ano ang potential resistance nung isang stock. Okay, so let me hit OK there. Ulitin ko yung FIBO natin. So, I will be starting from the resistance level, no? going down to the support. So, from the breakout point, hahatakin ko siya pababa. And as you can see, no, the moment na hinata ko siya pababa, merong area dito sa taas na nag extend din pataas. No? So, hang, habang hinihila ko siya pababa, tumataas din yung 61.8 natin. And that is what we are trying to identify. Okay? So, hatakin ko siya hanggang dito sa part na to, which is our support level. Okay? And if we try to see here, ayun. Sabi ng FIBO, ang, ang resistance level ng 
PHAI nasa 1.21. So let me try and secure that line here. This is my new resistance line. Okay. Now let's try to simulate na no. But before we do that, syempre we have to identify a buy level. Okay. On this particular one, since breakout siya, I will go with buy on breakout. So I bought here. So I'll buy. Ayan. So I bought at 0.84 cents. Okay. And at the same time, ilalagay ko na rin yung long position ko dito so we can identify our stop loss and target price ng mas maayos and mas visual. So from here, I'll move my stop loss doon mismo sa 0.82 which is the, the breakout point nung stock na yun. And then set my target doon naman sa taas which is nasa 1.21. Okay, so now let's try to simulate pa and let's see kung saan to pwedeng pumunta. Go with uh, the next day, which is ang laki, almost 16% agad. And then nagkaroon ng isang long week dito, which gave us 25%. Pull back, okay. Hmm, ayun. At this level, no, Nakita natin na yung candle is lumapit na, especially yung week niya doon sa 121. Pero umurong lang siya. Ito yung tinatawag ko na nauntog na siya doon sa resistance line. And this actually is my sell signal. Okay? So at 39.29, I think I'm good with that, so I'll sell. Pero what will happen kaya kung hindi ako nag-sell, no? Sige, let's try to continue the simulation para lang ma-appreciate ma natin siya. Ayun. Kita na natin, no? Oh. Umurong na siya. This 1.21 is a strong resistance para dun sa stock. That's why nauntog na talaga siya ng, ng tulay. And this is the confirmation. And then, simulate pa more. And, actually, yun yun. <laughs> Medyo mabilis lang kasi we are just looking at December 10, eh. Kanina, nung nag-start tayo, di ba? December 10. At 84, and then nag-exit tayo sa at, at 1.17 in just 4 days we go we gained almost 40%. So that's how you can use Fibonacci to identify a target price from an uptrend stock. In this scenario naman pag-uusapan natin kung paano ma-identify yung pullback from an uptrend stock just like here, kay MPI. Okay, so again, using MPI, noong July 23, we'll try to identify that. Okay, so with this one, let's go ahead and select once again our Fibonacci tool. And we will be starting our markings doon sa baba. Ayan. And then, hihilayin lang natin siya paakyat. Ayan. So, with this one, our starting is nasa 2.28 per share and then yung end natin is 3.88% or sorry, 3.88 per share. Okay. Once again, ang key resistance levels, ang key levels natin for FIBO are 38.2 and 61.8. Okay. With this particular chart, nakita natin na na-breach na, na yung 38.2. Okay. So that means our next target na makita is 61.8. Let me try and extend this one para at least makita natin siya ng buo. Ayan. And let's try to simulate. Ayun. Okay. So at this day, noong July 28, nakakita tayo ng green candle. No? Na merong long wicks both sa top and sa bottom. Usually kapag nakakita ko ng ganitong classing candle, I already consider that as a potential bounce, no? Especially kung malapit na siya doon sa support level ko, which is etong nasa 61.8. So at this point, I have decided to buy MPI. At 3.06. Now, I'll also use a tool called the long position. 
this is for me naman to add my stop loss and target levels para visually kita ko na agad siya. So, I'll set this one here. Once again, nasa 3.06 ako na line. Ayan. So, my stop loss, I'll adjust this one dahil ang stop loss ko is nasa 61.8. So, I'll move this one up while my target price is nasa 3.88. So, I'll move this one also. So, now, let's try to simulate. Ayun. So, umabot na siya dun sa 38.2 pero na-reject, no? So, let's try to see kung ano pa yung mangyayari sa kanya. Ayun. And then, na-break. So, sige. Continue lang natin. Once again, ang ating target is nasa 3.88, diba? So, let's try to wait that out for MPI. Ayun. So, lumalapit na siya doon sa 3.88. At this stage, kailangan ko na siyang i-monitor. Okay. Para ma-check ko kung kaya ba niyang ma-reach yung 3.88 or mauntog siya from that resistance level. Okay? So, let's simulate once again. Ayun. At this stage, nag-breakout na siya dun sa 3.88 level na yun. And using the trade plan that I have already planned out kanina, this is the time that I will be selling the stock. Some of you might think, teka lang, baka naman meron pang laman tong si, uh, si MPI, no? Kasi breakout eh. Well, the answer to that is yes, meron talagang laman yun dahil breakout. However, the plan all along is that we will be selling at the resistance. And that's what I did. Okay? Bonus na lang kung lumipad pa siya, then okay lang yun. Ang mahalaga, nakapag-take profit tayo, di ba? And uh, let me end the back test here to see the final result. Ayan. So once again, no, our entry price is at 3.06. We have exited at 3.90, and with that, we gained 27.45 percent. Kaniyan tining na natin yung mga uptrend stocks, di ba? So pull back from an uptrend at saka yung target price from an uptrend. But how about kung halimbawang yung stock is nasa downtrend? Yun yung titignan natin ngayon. So to start with, syempre, what we need to get is our handy dandy Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay? So ang kailangan natin ma-identify dito is again our support and resistance levels, di ba? So Fibonacci, ang gagawin ko this time is I'll go from the resistance sa top hahatakin ko siya pa baba. Ayan. So, let me try and extend this one. Okay. So, this one tells me na uh, we will be starting at 3.95 while ang resistance natin sa taas is nasa 9.69. Okay. Once again, our key retracement levels 38.2 at saka 61.5. 8. Okay? So, etong 31.2, this is now my resistance level para doon kay DNL, which will serve as my target level then. Okay? So, let's try to start our backtesting, no? Siyempre, uh, we'll try to buy the stock muna, no? So, since nakita natin na nag-bounce na siya from this level here, nakailang candles na rin siya, di ba? So, I'll try to buy the stock dito noong March 24. So, I'll hit on buy. Ayan. So, I bought at 4.42. Now, uh, let's add in our long position para makita natin yung stop loss and yung target price natin ng mas malinaw. So, from here, and then I'll set this one up. Ayan. So, ang stop stop loss level ko, usually I can go doon sa pinaka support na niya, no? Pero looking at the support, that means 11%. Masyado siyang malaki for me. Parang nakakatakot. So, let me adjust this one to the stop loss level na medyo mas komportable ako. And that is around 5%. So, adjusting this one. 
Mm, ayan, siguro pwede na yan. 5.64% na potential stop loss level. And then, my target is, syempre, yung 38.2 na sinabi ko kanina. So, this level here. Ayan. So, nasa 6.14. Let me move this one para hindi nakaharang. Ayan. And now, we will try and simulate. Okay. So, I'll buy here. Okay. Ayan. So, everyday, no? Nakikita natin, no? Umaangat na yung presyo, which is good. And, ayun. Nakita natin itong candle na to. Just like dun sa dalawang previous chart na ginawa natin kanina. I, as I have mentioned, yung mga long weeks, I do consider that as mga bounce weeks na agad. Okay? This time, for DNL, yung long week niya, umabot doon sa 38.2% level natin or 6.14. Okay? So, at this level here, since nahit na niya yung, yung, yung target ko, I can already execute my sell. And I hit sell. Now, this gave me a 33.3% total gains. So, maybe you're wondering, so what will happen? Paano kung hindi pala ako nagbenta? nung hindi ko tinake advantage yung pag-hit ko doon sa target levels ko, then, ito yung mangyayari. We have a, a red candle, a red candle, merong bounce ng konti, obvious bounce here from, again, from 6.14 level, and nung, we saw na yung candles niya is bumaba na. Ayan. So, what this tells me is that Etong 6.14 is nag-hold as a resistance level para kay DNL. Okay. So, once again, in summary, pumasok tayo sa 442, nag-exit tayo sa 588, and uh, it lasted for 13 days, and we gained 33% because of this trade. And that's it. That's how we can use Fibonacci to identify key support and resistance levels no and uh, have an edge pagdating sa trading so that's it thank you for uh, tuning in and until the next video